when we think about what is an engineer actually doing, it probably falls into three buckets, right? What should I solve for? How should I solve it? And then solving it. Everyone who's working in this space is probably increasingly convinced that solving it, which is just the pure, I know how I'm going to do it, and just going and doing it, AI is going to handle vast majority, if not all of it. In fact, it probably actually with some of the work that we've done in terms of deeply understanding code bases, how should I solve it is also going to get closer and closer to getting done. So I think what engineering goes to is actually what you wanted engineers to do in the first place, which is what are the most important business problems that we do need to solve? What are the most important capabilities that we need our application, our product to have, and actually going and prioritizing those and actually going and making the right technical decisions to go out and doing it. Now, does that mean that no one needs a CS degree? I think that's maybe a little bit overplayed because a lot of developers took an operating system course. And in theory, they're not really like playing around with the operating system, like the kernel scheduler, like very frequently. But do those principles help them in understanding why their applications are slow? Do they help them in understanding why some design decisions are better than the other? And I think that idea and the understanding of what's going on at the bottom will make a good engineer even better. 